Jax and Lauren battle a deadly cyborg on Spy Game next. Wanna play? Next on Spy Game. I got him. I miss you, Kansas. Kansas? It's a very long story. See, I've never been with a girl before. Never? I think I know just what you need. I'll go low. Stop him. He'll kill my fiance. Save yourself. Dad? Can I ask you a question? Anything. Go ahead. All the other guys have a lot of friends. Why don't I? Well, you're not like everybody else. There's nothing wrong with that. When will I start going out with girls? Don't worry. That'll all happen soon. You ready? Yeah. Are you Andrew Malik? Yes. How did you get in here? This area is strictly off limit. My father sent me. Frank Collini. Frank? I didn't know he had a son. Sure. You remember me from Cybertech. Cybertech? I, n I never met. Can't be. It can't be what? Andrew? Yes. Is everything okay? It was strange. He seemed upset. It wasn't at all like you and I practiced. I, I don't understand. Listen, son. I want you to know that that was very normal. To feel confused? No. To kill someone. If Lorne Cash sinks this putt, he wins the tournament and the $50,000 purse. You don't just land a helicopter on the 18th hole of the Briarwood Country Club. Look, I had no choice. It was oh. an emergency. Four and a half feet, Max. I was four and a half feet from $50,000. And I can tell you right now, that is coming out of the Echo budget. That is the Echo budget. So when's the next game thing? 
I was playing in the Virginia Open. It only happens once a year. Like the Super Bowl. Yeah, but completely different. Now, football. There's a sport. Guys in trenches, running, bashing, grunting, butting heads. Teamwork equals touchdown. Too bad about the tournament cash that putt. It was a guinea. Now, last night at McClendon Army Base, a research scientist, Andrew Malik, was murdered. So you land a Huey on the golf course to what, fly me to his wake? No, I want you to find out who put him in the coffin. Malik only worked on ultra-secret defense projects. Any leads? Uh, wait till you see what we got on the surveillance tape. That's our guy. But we have no idea who it is. Well, that's a mafia guy on a talk show. So the uh, blue stuff is... Magnetic resonancing. In order to distort his image on tape, he probably has transponders behind his ears. This is military, Michael. Why us? Because any time there's an attack on a United States facility, whether it's an army base, a federal building, or a post office, it's Echo's baby. What was Andrew Malik working on? I couldn't find that out. Mm, it's probably level 11 clearance. Yeah. Level 11? I thought 10 was the top. You're a 10? I'm only a 9. So, get over to the army base and talk to the four-star who's running the military investigation. I believe it's a General Wellish. Sam. Sam? <gasps> you gave me this yesterday. <gasps> My parents don't know yet. Papa will, of course, kill me. Elena. Hey, Danny. <laughs> Life doesn't get much better. We're telling my father tomorrow, as soon as he arrives. Ah, I don't know. Can it wait? How often does he come to town? Yeah, but it might ruin his whole trip. All right, then. Forget about my parents. That's just a lot tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay, I give up. We'll tell him. Picture. Can we meet a little later? Alone? Sure, under the big oak. Sam! Max! <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it's been a whole year? Thirteen months and six days. Uh, you must be uh, Miss Cash. Lauren. Heard a lot of fine things about you. Soldier, could you get us some coffee? She uh, takes hers half milk, half java, no sugar. Very hot. Yes, sir. Just like the generals. Well, none for me, thanks. I miss you, Kansas. Kansas? It's a very long story. And we have so little time. General, about Mal. She's my aide. The damn fine one. Remember Sioux City? That was nothing. Do you remember Mount Rushmore? Oh, you saved me from breaking my neck. Do you remember Joplin, Missouri? Or Galveston? Hey, excuse me, can, can we pull the tour bus over for a minute and talk about the investigation? Uh, what was Malik working on? Mr. Cash. Lauren. Lauren, you don't ask questions, I ask questions. You provide answers in a precise, timely fashion. Am I clear? Virtually transparent. Lauren has a very interesting theory. Well, that's terrific. I'm all ears. He hesitated. Who? Our man on the videotape. Which means the killer's either sadistic or... He's having second thoughts. That is interesting. You know, I like to think of life as a sport. Now, follow me on this. You know, this is perfect, because Lauren's really into golf. He says it's a zen thing. And a loner activity. Now, football is guys in trenches bashing, grunting, butting heads. Teamwork equals... Touchdown? Precisely. Hey, did you know that Sam is level 12? Level 12? Mm-hmm. Please don't take this personally, but we have to move this along. Okay, sometimes he comes on a little too strong. No. Can I borrow your phone? Thank you. We had some times, didn't we? You know, you were a uh, family, or as close as I'll ever come to having one. But you always said career or family. You can't serve two masters, because... You'll end up serving neither. It's for you. President. My president. Our president. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Mr. President. 
You're now a level 13. Huh. That's funny. I thought 12 was the highest. Yeah, well, live and learn. And, and please don't take this personally, but we got to move this along. Now, what got Malik killed? The Lucas Project. Him too. What's happening? Throw him in. Why? Just do it. Don't worry, you'll be all right. Are those too tight? I'll loosen them. Lucas! Leave him alone and come sit down. But he's really upset. That bothers me. You? Of course. I understand. I think I know just what you need. So, you guys developed some kind of killer robot. He's obviously level nine. Yes, we built one. Yeah, your tax dollars at work, making the world a better place, one android at a time. Not an android or a robot, a protogen. Kansas, pop that in, would you? What's the difference? A protogen can think for itself within its program parameters. How did you recognize it? The signature blue aura on the face and the big hole left in our electrified fence. Somebody tell me, please, how we lost a billion-dollar protogen. Well, somebody probably picked its two-dollar padlock. Synthetic lifelike skin, a magnesium heart that pumps coolant, biceps and thigh muscles of pure steel cordogen, and an ocular device that gives them 20-10 vision. When they terminated the Lucas Project, they shut down the sleekest, most efficient, most powerful fighting machine ever made by the hand of man, a programmable assassin. God, it was beautiful. Sounds like it was your baby. In more ways than one, I supervised the project. I'll be sorry to have to destroy the protogen, but... We have to do it. We'll do it. Oh, this is a foregone conclusion. Is there any way to zero in on its location? No, Sims, it's undetectable. It's like a stealth bomber. Lucas can have any face. He can be standing in a room, and you wouldn't even know it was there. So, you built this thing that you can't find, you can't stop, and now it's killing its creators. Well, that makes sense. Andrew Malik designed a tracking device to trace the thing to its home computer. If he were still alive, he could put his hands on those plans. We think that's why he was killed. Once we find Lucas, how do we stop it? Well, that's no problem. You got a spare Scud missile? Hmm. Hello. Hello. Your fiance, Elena. Hi, Elena. You wouldn't drive past me. You're concerned about meeting her father. Is there something you matter? Uh, uh, uh. Pay attention. Uh, sorry, I keep thinking about your dad. Why don't you stop worrying? I just know he's gonna hate me. No way. I hope you're like him. What happened earlier? I waited for you at the Big Oak. You were busy. Uh, I was tied up. Don't be funny. Well, I'm still funny. Take her someplace. Alone. Will you want to take a walk? Yeah. So who programmed the emotions in Lucas? Emotions? That's ridiculous. How did you know that? A little hitch in his swing. Hesitation when he killed Malik. He's feeling something. That's true. In the infinite wisdom, they gave him an emotional database, a flagrant waste of the taxpayer's money. A good soldier thinks... With his head, not with his heart. Yeah, well, that's great in war games and chess. But life's more like poker. 
You gotta go with your feelings. Your feelings in the field will get you killed. Or get you close enough to kill. An expertly trained assassin might use his emotions to get close to his target, thereby making the target vulnerable, defenseless. But what if the assassin's emotions override his program? It's unlikely. I was there when the emotional grid was installed. Believe me, he will follow orders. Does your partner understand thing one about modern technology? Lucas was never tested in the field, but in the lab, his power was awesome. Are you all right? You seem uh, distant, miles away. Tell her it's nerves. Show me that you can win her trust. Uh, I'm nervous. I don't want to do anything to hurt you. To hurt you? Where did that come from? Never. You're the gentlest person I know. And I love you. Okay, team, let's get on this ASAP. We're looking for a device to trace the protogen to its host computer. What, your billion-dollar baby needs a support system? I wish I had time to explain how computers work. If Lucas is on a mission, yes. In any portable unit, there's only so many memory bytes available. Hence the host computer. Hence? But the actual tracking device was never built since the money dried up, so we're hunting for the schematics. It's probably some sort of dual capacitator with an influx unit. Or an RH microprocessor chip. Could be as simple as your basic bandler diode. With an amped up in Sonic Drive. Well, this coffee's great. Anyone want one? I already know how you two take it. I'm gonna get more people on this pronto. It could take hours. Or... A wild shot. We can go talk to the guy who built Lucas. Sam, Frank, good to see you. Kansas, this is Frank Collini, chairman of Cybertex, one of our leading defense contractors. Come in, please. I'm with Kansas. Andrew Malik was so brilliant. He didn't deserve this. Is this you and the vice president? Yes. We're very close. You know, he cheats at golf. Caught him using the tee once out of the rough. I don't play with him anymore. Did so you ever make one of these Lucas units for any other country? No, there was only one. Poor Andrew. He was a good man. You were in the court? Pardon me? My son, he... He's always leaving his things around. You have a son? Oh, don't ask. Brief early marriage. She's living with me now. You're lucky, Sam. No kids. Dad? Oh. <laughs> There's my boy now. Sorry, I didn't know you had company, but I need to talk to you. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I'll be done in a minute. Why don't you just wait upstairs? You care for a drink, or are you on duty? No and yes. You ever bring your work home? Maybe you backed up those Lucas files. No, I don't think so. Well, let's go take a look. All right. Sam, what's going on here? You guys have known each other a long time. Something to handle with your hands? What are you doing? Oh, I, I was looking for a pencil. I'm sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. She's beautiful. What's her name? Elena. Uh, my girlfriend. She's what I wanted to talk to my dad about. Has your father ever met her? He introduced us. Wow. Fixing your son up with girls. That's a pretty cool dad. Sometimes he is. The Fed swept Cybertech clean of all files. And as you know, we weren't allowed to make copies of any of those designs. Help me out here, General, but uh, isn't it still possible to access an erased file? Until something else is written over it? It's worth a shot. I'll be really surprised if I find something. Yeah, me too. Get my cynical nature, Frank, but... Uh, where were you last night? 
Outside McClendon military base, waiting for the killer protege. I was home. My son and I were watching Monday Night Football. Wasn't that something where Mo Group hit that 50 yard and hit the crossbar? Don't you mean Kaznecki? We're just verifying, Frank. We suspect everybody. I'm surprised you haven't asked me where I was. We're at the officers' club till 10.30, playing gin rummy. You won $32. Sorry. Nothing here. Hey. Where's Miss London? I don't know where any of this goes. It's all right. I'll tell him I did it. Thanks. So... What about your father? Oh, no. Um, it's Elena. I don't know what to do. Things a little rocky? Well, we're seeing each other. Well, that's good. Is she nice? Very. But she's really interested in somebody else. Well, did you tell her how you feel? No. See, I've never been with a girl before. Never? Well, I mean, not one who liked me for who I am. And it's so frustrating because I'm always pretending to be someone I'm not. Oh, well, yeah. We all do that. You too? Sure. But can get you into trouble 99% of the time. Look, your best bet is to just be who you are, and someday someone will appreciate it. You're very easy to talk to. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. But don't you talk about this guy stuff with your dad? Yes. And, uh, he says that I'm too emotional. Really? Well, people accuse me of being just the opposite. <laughs> is it better to be that way? Keeps you from getting hurt as much. I don't like to see people hurt. Can I tell you one more thing? Miss London? Your uh, friends are out front. Oh, thanks. Hang in there. In case you think of anything else, just give me a call. I will. Daniel? We can have that chat now. You find anything in the den? Yeah, a very confused kid. But a nice one. You? You're a wealthy guy. He drinks cheap scotch. Well, cheap scotch? Well, maybe it's as simple as that. In fact, that definitely nails it for me. See, Frank rearmed the protogen so we could get a fine single malt. Will you stop trying to hit a hole in one and get with the team? Forget Colleen. Don't you ever speak to anyone without my knowing. I'm sorry. Never. And never enter a room when I'm with other people. Yes, sir. They don't see what's happening to this country. They're letting our readiness go to hell, isn't that right, Maureen? Yes. One single incident could expose their stupidity. And I'm going to give them one. Yes, sir. My plan was perfect. I had the means, the occasion, and the world stage that this demonstration demands. And now you've jeopardized that by letting them see you. Do you know what this means? It's just that I'm getting more and more confused. There's no need for confusion. Listen to your father. It's very simple. I created you. Without me, you don't exist. I know that. So you have to do what you're told, when you're told, and never ask why you're told. Now you have to kill them. Not her, too. All of them. So let's put the best face possible on this, shall we? Mike, I didn't find the plans for the tracking device yet. We'll just have to try something else. Where was Lucas taken apart? You know, that gut of yours is on overtime, isn't it? They broke him down in a place called Wellerback, which is now just an abandoned factory. Follow me. You ever feel like you had a power fade on a dog leg right? 
You can't see the pin, but you just feel it. Mm. I have no idea what you just said. It means I know we're close. We just can't see it yet. Fine. You know what? Forget it. Fine. Oh, and for the record, I never liked golf. Golf's not a bad game, Max. I will run naked through the reflecting pool in front of the Washington Monument before you will ever catch me on a golf course. That I would like to see. You with a five iron. game will return in a moment here on ABC. No, not ever again. He said my name. He knows me. I can't hurt him. Calm down. It's okay. I nearly killed the general. Max and her friends saved him. Max tried to ram you with a car. She was trying to help someone. I only harm people. It's inhuman. Lucas. That's not you. That's you. I know who... What I am. But I still don't want to hurt anybody else. All right, then. I agree. What? There are choices all the time in life. You have to follow what's right. <laughs> Inside. You mean that? From now on, I won't tell you what to do ever again. I, I mean, don't trust what I say. Go with what you feel is right. 
Dad, I'm so relieved. Of course, without trust, there can be no love. Don't say that. Don't. I'm sorry. I have to tell you what I feel, too. Checking out the latest in home remodeling? No. Nope. They've narrowed down the components for the tracking device to these three discs. Time for a Hail Mary pass. You see, that's what you do when you don't have a prayer. By the way, thanks for pulling me out of the fire last night. I didn't save your life. I know, Max did. No, Lucas chose not to kill you. I think he's developing a soul, becoming sapient. Yeah, next week he'll want to work with Mother Teresa. Listen, maybe the way to stop him is to appeal to his emotions. London. Hi, Miss London. This is Daniel. Daniel. Is everything all right? It's about what you said yesterday. Be who you are? Is this still about your girlfriend? Yes, uh, but it's more about me. What I'm feeling. Feeling? Okay. Go on. Appeal to Lucas's emotions? That's a fabulous idea. While we're at it, why don't we ask the fluorescent lights if they're feeling overworked, if the computers here feel that they're at their wit's end? Listen. He could have taken you out clean last night. He had the kill shot. Now, how else do you explain it? System failure, mainframe shutdown, hard drive head crash. Let me put it to you in your terms. He shanked his drive and ended up in the water hazard. No, you're wrong. He hesitated again. We made him to perform a function without question. And now you want to tear him down without question. He's not the enemy. He's only a weapon you made. Did you always do everything your dad told you to do? Did you ever disobey? Listen, Daniel, I, I, I'm really not the best one to talk about dad questions. You're the only one. Does your father love you? I didn't see my father very much. Look, if you'd like to meet with me some other time about this. No, it'll be too late then. You don't understand. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. Just, just calm down. Sorry. So you're saying I should do what my dad says? Does your father love you? Yes. Then listen to him. He has your best interest at heart. Thanks. You helped a lot. I know something about Lucas. See, you guys made me too. Yeah, well, that's all well and good. So maybe you're just too close to all this to finally understand the consequences. Understand the consequences? I'm employed because of your consequences. Then let's just get this job over with so you can cash your check. You guys never cease to amaze me. When your game plan goes south, you guys run as far from responsibility as you possibly can. It's got to be done. Well, it stinks. Here's something my people made for the Herlic. This will take out an M50 tank. Now you hit him right between the eyes. Make him, break him. Build Lucas, destroy Lucas. Don't you think I consider this a personal failure? Yeah, I do. More personal than you're letting on. He's you. What are you talking about? Malik programmed Lucas with your emotions, didn't he? Is that true? That's why you were so convinced he'd follow orders. Yes, so you see, I really don't want to terminate him. But I have to. And when the time comes, I'm counting on you to pull the trigger. Here's some financial data on Kalini. Take a wild guess. Chapter 11? Or, on the last page of Chapter 10, Cybertech stock has plummeted. No more big defense contracts. No. Another Cold War casualty. Just like us. Hey, dirt, Kansas. We've got the specs for the tracking device. You found it? With these diagrams, you and I can easily bang this out. And we're both right. It's a bandular diode. With an ensonic drive. Yeah, that's doable. Lorne. Lorne, this can...
so. Kansas. Where'd you get Kalini's blueprints? I emailed the city permit office. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. That's when you discovered this place was bigger than it looks. I'll call it a feeling. Also, the tiles near the wall are usually cut. These are whole, which means this probably isn't the outside wall. Oh, funny place for a light switch. Bingo. All right, we need an access code. And this is your department. Let me add it. Hmm. Nice follow through. Daniel. Boy, Dad's a strict disciplinarian. <laughs> we gotta stop him. He'll kill my fiance. She's the Russian president's daughter. Mark Sinjin Taylor here at the Russian Embassy in Washington, D.C., where the world eagerly awaits this much-anticipated treaty signing. Wait. Here comes President Hubov now. Please, you gotta help me. I'm PFC Daniel Travis, Marine Barracks 8th and I assigned to the president. That other guy's some droid that looks like me. Kalini's son is a protege. He calls him Lucas. That kid is Lucas? Look, I don't believe he would hurt anybody. I'll tell that to the general. But he's programmed to kill Elena Vyubov. So not only does she die in front of millions. No, she dies at the hands of her U.S. Marine boyfriend. Leaving Danny here. Framed for murder. But why is she the target and not her father? You kill the president of Russia, you send the country into chaos. But you kill his daughter. He calls out the dogs. Everyone starts waving their weapons. Kalini's in the weapon business, so he gets rich again. And we're all back on the brink of war. Let's go. Hey, Daniel. You look really cool. Daniel? Daniel? Sorry, ma'am. He's on duty not even allowed to move, okay? In only minutes, the American president and his Russian counterpart will affix their names to this historic document. Target not present. I'll find Elena. I'll join the Marines. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Stop! What in the Sam Hill are you... She's not out here yet.
I got him. Daniel, no! <laughs> yeah! Eliminate target. I have to. Save yourself. Take him down, Max. You're more than this, Lucas. Eliminate target. No, I'm not. Eliminate target now! You get me. Just trust your feelings. You said not to be emotional. It only gets you hurt. I was wrong. Lucas. Eliminate target now! No. Dad? Design worked perfectly. Not Lucas. I mean, this, the tracking device you never built, it homed right in on your transmission. Are you crazy? You could have been killed. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I went with my heart. Like you. That's, that's great. Next time, maybe don't do it when someone's trying to kill you. So, you think you can reprogram Lucas? Yes, I do. Taking him on is a personal project. He might just be the family you've been missing out on. That's a start. Goodbye, Kansas. General, I've got to admit, it was a pleasure being part of your team. Thanks, Lauren. And as for me, uh, I guess it takes a mighty big man to admit that he was... Wrong? I'm not that big. Ha. See ya. Can someone please explain to me why he's adopting a robot? It's about responsibility and consequence, Micah. Uh, well, of course it is. Oh, by the way, I spoke to the president this morning. He's made me a level 10. Yeah, I know. He told us. Yeah, congratulations. He bumped me up to an 11. Which he, of course, refused. Look, I have uh, some tickets to the Bolshoi that I'm not going to be able to use. My date has a headache. Really? Next? Uh, no, thanks. I have plans. No, no, not me. I got serious plans. On Spy Game, there's a new spy in town. Okay, Sparky. Sparky? Code name. It's Dana Delaney. Sexy spy. You like her? No. Professional admiration. In two weeks on ABC, Spy Game. Dana wants to play. <sighs> A computer? Get ready. Go online with Billy Crystal, host of the 69th Academy Awards. Look at me. I'm surfing the web. And check out Oscar.abc.com. It's the who, why, and what to wear for the world's biggest celebrity badge. Watch the Oscars live. Monday, March 24th, right here on ABC. You're watching ABC, the Arsenio Broadcasting Company.